hey, what's up? What's happening? And, uh, oh yeah, it's me. I'm Alex. Thanks. Thank you. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of It's Me, I'm Alex. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Well, well, sit down. Sit down. Sit. It's enough. Where was I? Oh yeah. So uh yeah, welcome to another episode of It's Me, I'm Alex. I guess it's I guess the live show is It's Me, I'm Alex live now. Since we have a not live show. And we'll have a lot of them. Not a whole lot. Not a lot lot, but enough in which we would need to differentiate between it's me I'm Alex not live and it's me I'm Alex live so so we're live What was I saying? Oh yeah. Live broadcasting. It's a... Uh, it's a good thing. Yep. You agree, huh? Yes. Good. Good, good, good. Well... I guess I'm just kind of hanging out right now, stalling. I'll probably play some games, kind of seeing how the internet's doing, but it seems to be doing okay for now, so that's encouraging. Hey, what's up, Nick? Can you, can I ask Seymour to yell, ah, uh, for a while? I don't know about a while. And, um, I think he takes umbrage at the fact that you've called it, ah, it's this beautiful native, um, country song, uh, official song of his country. So, so, all right, give, give Nick a good, ah. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Nick says thank you. Cool. Cool. How are you doing, Nick? Are you doing well? Life treating you okay today? You're doing neat. 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 That's a good feeling to have. I'm doing pretty neat myself, I think. I think that despite set setbacks and whatnot, 
You know, I think things are looking up. Who's a gastro doctor? I hope everything's okay. Everything come out all right? Everything good? Don't keep everyone in suspense. I'm just messing with you about rushing you, but uh... Really? Gotcha. Got it. Well. Does look like the internet is uh, a little iffy. Oh, that's good. You want a good doctor when they're, you know, getting all up in your stuff. You want a good doctor for that. I think. I haven't been to the doctor in a while. Not even for a checkup. I could could be very sick right now and I don't even know it. I kind of think that not knowing could probably be saving my life. Like, I could, I could be dying right now, but I don't know that. Oh. I've never had one of those. It sounds uncomfortable, though. Gee, I hope not. You're not trying to kill me, are you? Uh... Oh dear. Well, if I die, then you know who did it. You know who did it. Oh, interesting. I, in my mind, they just did that sort of thing while you sat there and took it, or whatever. That sounds a little bit more comfortable than, than I had imagined it. Yeah, I bet that's a common misconception. I bet a lot of people don't get their butts checked out because they don't know that it's a painless process. That's good to know. Maybe I should get my stuff checked out sometimes. Well, not sometimes, like, you know, getting Colin's Colin, oh man, I can't say it. Colonscopy. Oh, I see. But I bet they could check you, you know, for growths and stuff. If you're just tuning in, we're talking about growths. Oh, I see. Gotcha. I don't know a whole lot about that stuff, I reckon. By your family? Oh, your family doctor. It's like, you can get your mom or your 
brother or cousin to check it out. Like, hey, we're family. Oh, I see. I do like going to the doctor and getting put to sleep. It's only, I've only had that done a few times. But I like it. It's like, oh man, you're putting me to sleep. And you don't have any control. Two times, huh? Yeah, I bet that sucked. Sounds like it would. When I was five, I stepped on a needle. And they put me to sleep. To like, give me stitches. Which seems weird, I didn't- I wouldn't think a thing like that. Like it was like a thread. Like there was like a, a roll of thread with a needle on it and I stepped on that. And I had to get like stitches. Oh no. That doesn't sound good at all. I feel for you. Yeah, I bet. Oh, you are still a growing young man, huh? I see. Well, I think I'll try to be more careful when I'm handling my business so that the same thing doesn't happen to me. It's not a race. Life is short. Take your time when you're pooping. Enjoy yourself. You know? Oh, well, that's good that it's perfectly okay. that your stuff is in better health. Oh, wow. It seems like quite the, uh, The change up from surgery with just a gel. That is interesting. That a, that a, a greasy ass gel could replace surgery. <laughs> ass gel. Huh. Do you hear that? Seymour, did you hear that? Uh huh. Ash gel. I didn't. Wow. That's why I make the big bucks, I guess. I don't know. I've never heard him laugh. Like, ever. Can you laugh? Do it. 
Oh. Oh. Uh, maybe. Oh, I think he did that before, and I told him not to do that. Because it's too disturbing. Sounds like he has... I don't know, it's kind of freaky. So I apologize if that disturbed anyone. I think so. That's his laugh. I'm trying to get him to work on it though. Because it's kind of disturbing. He's not allowed to do it on the show. Oh. Nick likes your laugh. Cool. Yeah. Some people like it and some don't. I don't like it. it. Sounds like it sounds like there are three Seymours when he does it and I think that that one Seymour is enough. Well to be honest with you, I don't really have a a docket set. I I I've gotten kind of Taken a liking to just figuring out the docket when the show starts because I never know who's going to be watching and never know what's going to happen. So, I mean, I think. Tonight it's just you and I. So. Woohoo! I'm thinking of just doing my pre recorded episodes on YouTube alone. Oh, it's okay, Nick. Because as it stands, up uploading videos to Twitch sucks. And then I still have to upload them to YouTube. So I think that just having to upload them to one place and not having to process them for like 12 hours, I think that'll be better. Nick, you use the YouTube, right? If there were YouTube exclusive episodes on YouTube, you would you would watch it. Kinda. See, this is why we're doing market research. What's a kinda sort of viewer thinking on the subject? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Because I wanted to do it on Twitch. But it's a pain in the neck. So, I think I'm just going to move those completely to YouTube. And maybe just put them out as they're available. That way I don't have to rush an episode to meet a schedule. So, because that's stressful. So I think that'll work out. I am going to, uh, I have to finish uploading the live show to, um, YouTube before I get started with anything else. Still have, like, 40 or 50 episodes to finish uploading. And I 
There's so many. We 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 reached 500 and something episodes now. I missed that milestone. So we'll just wait until we reach a thousand episodes before before we you know start having special shows. Because we, re we reached 500 episodes with just about a year's worth of shows, so... 1,000 would be easy. Seymour, Nick is talking to you. Neat. Oh no, he wanted a whoa. Whoa. Cool. Cool. Yep. Hey, Leonard. Oh, hey, Alex. How are you doing tonight? Oh, I am doing just fine. Thank you. Good. Good, good. I am doing just fine also. It's a good question, Sally. Huh? Are you smoking crack? No. Your voice sounds weird. Everything okay? You sound like you're smoking crack. No. Okay. Do you want to smoke? No. Okay. Good. We don't need anybody smoking crack around here. The only, uh, crack that people should smoke is a, a crack and bowl of Tropical Dino Crunch. Tropical Dino Crunch is a uh, delicious way to start off your day. Tropical Dino Crunch. Delicious. Alright. You don't smoke that natty ice, do you? Nope. Okay. Good. I don't know. It probably is not good to snort beer. Probably be weird going through your sinuses and stuff. And it's all bubbly. Probably not good. We were thinking when we get our new internet at the end of the month, we were hoping that we were going to be able to get Google Fiber. Turns out that's not going to be a, an option. So we're going to have to go with Xfinity. It appears to be that's going to be our only other option. But. No, our ISP at the moment is called WOW! Exclamation mark. And it sucks. It sucks a lot. But it's only temporary, so... I don't think it's Verizon, it's uh... 
Xfinity is Comcast. But I do hope that it is without issue. But the internet speed that we're getting is going to be back to normal. Hey Petra, how are you doing? Eating some dinner, huh? I said at Xfinity. Is our other option that we'll have at the end of the month. So I don't know if they suck still. I know that in the past, are they annoying? Uh, okay. Is Xfinity annoying? <laughs> oh, well, you go take the big pee pee then. All I worry is that it just stays on and is reliable. Hopefully, hopefully it's at least that. Can't wait to uh, start doing the show normal again. Back in HD. Oh shit! Is that Liddy? Hey. How's it going? Yep. I've been here the whole time. The whole time. Yep. You done missed some good stuff. So... I'm just joking. I mean, it wasn't bad. But there was a big hole where uh, I did. Like, while you were gone, Grace, like, read her manifesto. And uh, it was pretty enthralling. Yep. Grace, read read your you wanna read your manifesto for Liddy? Grace, you feel like reading it again? I guess she doesn't. Yeah, Fawful is right. It was pretty controversial. Hopefully I don't get, like, banned from Twitch for some of it. Some of it was a little risque. And, like, a, not in a, you know, nipples kind of way. We're talking, like, taboos being shattered. So... You don't believe me. Now, Liddy, a moderator and a host, have to have a relationship built on trust. And so, you know, and if you go back and you watch the VOD and it's not there, hey. Sometimes, in life, you aren't there. All there. It's like a lesson. You weren't here. And... Well... So I hope... That's proof of, of what... What is proof? That she didn't do it. I thought... Oh, you must be misinterpreting what I mean by a test.
Yeah, well, maybe that it, it was so good that it jumped out and ran away from the VOD. That's possible. Well, I hate to, to break it to you, but I live in a different world than you do, Liddy. You know, I have things, things are a little, hey Pookies, things are a little different around here. They do, but maybe, maybe before they leave my world, they have special, you know, features like that. Because it's a cartoon VOD before it leaves my dimension. So maybe in, in my world... Fods are made up by by little creatures with arms and legs that can just jump up and leave. Like Grace reading her her, her manifesto. See. Is that a misplaced comma? Are you saying I didn't miss shit? Or are you saying I didn't miss shit? Oh, okay. It sounded like you were saying that you were upset that you didn't miss. I'm glad that, that it's all clear now. I mean, you did miss some shit. I mean, I'm not saying that it was, you know, wasn't groundbreaking like Grace reading a manifesto. Ah, okay. Because, I mean, Nick and I did have a, a good conversation about colon scot. I can't say that word. How do you say the, the colon scopy? Colonscopy. I can't... How do you say that? Can you give me a phonetic... Way to... <laughs> way to say it. Colon... <laughs> Colon... Colonoscope... Col... Ka or co? Colonoscopy. 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 I know that word. <laughs> While you were gone, Nick and I had a great conversation about colonoscopies. He does. But you both, I, I appreciate both of your work. And trying to get me to pronounce colonoscopy. Get get your behind. Check the day. Everyone should. You know it's. Oh, of course. You know it's better than a colonoscopy. A bowl of Tropical Dino Crunch. Tropical Dino Crunch. It's better than a col colonos... Colonos... Damn it. I already forgot how to say it that fast. They sound like it, but Nick was putting my mind at ease about them. He says that they put you to sleep and that by the time you wake up, it doesn't, your butt doesn't hurt or anything. That you feel totally normal. As if there weren't implements. Is that wrong? Hey. 
Hey, I'm just telling you what I heard. Maybe different doctors are doing it different ways. You know, there's more than one way to flip a hamburger, if you know what I mean. I don't think you could flip one with your colon. Oh dear. Well, I don't know if we'll get into the proper colon cleansing tonight. In fact, Wayne, do I hear that horn? Oh, I'm just kidding. But. What? No. No. Why would I do that? Do I look like I'm running for president? Well, I don't want to disappoint the fans. I'll tell you that right now. We here at It's Me, I'm Alex. We're all about pleasing the fans, but not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Colonoscopy. That's not right. Colonoscope. I guess I could scroll up and hold on. What is it? Hopefully it's still up in the list. Colono colonos colonoscopy. God, I need to say that word a whole bunch of times. I won't do it now. I mean, like when the show is off to air, because I need—I'd hate to be like in a conversation with someone important, and then subject comes up, and I'm just like, oh, colonoscopy, colonoscopy. Uh. Gotta be able to say words right. Colonna. Colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. Good. Good. Alright, well. Is everyone... Everyone having a good night? No, I don't want to talk about colons too much. But they are a fact of life. It is true. I feel like we as a society should be able to talk about this subject. Everyone has one, right? Whoa. Well, sorry. Most everyone has one. So. Aw, uh, I'm sorry, Poogie. I, I appreciate the offer, but... I don't think I can accept one more colon on here. I couldn't, I couldn't possibly have storage for, for one more. In the early days of the show, I had shared with everyone that I, I actually didn't have one myself. The subject was brought up of whether or not I poop. And in those days, I didn't have the ability to do so. Fun fact. It was not an ability that I 
can't. What? It was not a... No! Look, this show has like magic wizards and stuff. And warlocks. And stuff like that, so... It's totally acceptable for me to have at one point not had a butt. And then to have like, gained one later. It's a... Uh, I do. I, I proudly poop now with the rest of America. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it shouldn't be in a museum or anything, but it wouldn't be the first time poop has been in a museum. Tell you that. No. It's about average. I'm not one to toot my own horn. No. Right? Because of butts. So I was saying earlier, also before you arrived, that I've done some thinking on the pre-recorded shows thing, and I think that those are going to be YouTube exclusive, because I can just upload them there and they're ready to go like an hour later at the most. And as of now, I'm having to upload the, the pre-recorded videos to Twitch and YouTube. Oh, well, that's right. So I guess I can be... Okay, well, that's that'll be useful. Good. Well, I guess I'll start premiering them on YouTube then. But... Also made the decision to um to have a looser schedule of those because I think that the having a schedule of them kind of makes them suffer because if I know that I have to have a episode of Star yeah loose like your colon this Fawful's been paying attention. Cool. Right. And this one week where I was trying to do something like that really showed me that I I have limitations. But don't we all have limitations? No. Most of us have limitations. Just like most of us have colons. Whoa. But you didn't always, always have one. Yeah. Oh, I hope so, Pookies. Aww. What are you booing now? What upsets you? What troubles you, my Petra? Oh yeah, I can't call you my Petra. Stocks are down? What do you mean? I think it's me, I'm Alex. Stock Stocks are like... Kind of on the upswing. That's what all the evidence points to. For me. Right. I'm hoping before too long we can ex expand the you call this media family with some, you know, Q 
can't just, you know, have a media company with one show. That would be crazy. Yeah. I mean, each of the puppets have their own. <laughs> yeah, it's like a colon. Each of the puppets have their own Twitch channels. But I don't know about them using it. We don't want to dilute the brand. So maybe, maybe they could do a whole new... Well, we... I've, uh... I'm on the board of directors. Where you call this media? Well... I don't... I don't think that to be possible. I think if there was another show, perhaps the producers would make it something that doesn't compete with It's Me, I'm Alex. Hey, what's up, Nick? Aww. Liddy said that you're pretty. Whoa. Cool. Cool. He said you were pretty cool. Neat. Oh no. I think that the puppets have a non-compete clause. So... What's up, Nick? Kids cartoon relatable to adults. We could like... Oh, wow. That is weird. I haven't had Sprite in a long time. I could go for a big ass bottle of Sprite. Wow, Petra, I should... Maybe you should work on a pitch. You can pitch it to the, the head honcho over it, you call this media. I am on aid. Hmm. Oh, lemon with Sprite is pretty good. You call this a colon. Oh. Well. I don't know. I don't see that happening. I don't think that to be possible. She doesn't get around like that. Oh, nobody has seen her either, so... Ooh, a car. Wait, like a company car? Oh, I see. Well, you know what they say, a lady can't resist a, another hot lady on a motorcycle, but... I don't know what the appeal is myself. Motorcycles are scary and dangerous. Um, I'm not too sure, Nick. I'm not too sure just yet. She sounds pretty rad, Petra. Safer than cars. Maybe if you know what you're doing. I guess I'm, I don't even know how to ride a car. Oh. I know how to ride... <laughs> I know how to... <laughs> drive a car. I 
I know how to. I know how to ride. I know how to ride in a car. I don't know how to drive them. I can just see myself like, how do I get in? I don't know how to get in the car. Like bump, bumping my head on the gas tank. Like I don't understand. Help. No, I can, I can ride in a car. Oh, good. I mean, I've I've ridden on a, a dang airplane before. And airplanes are like big ass, big ass things flying through the air. So. I've been on a roller coaster that went upside down. I know how to ride a car, Liddy. I just misspoke. I know how to ride a bicycle, too. I misspeak sometimes. I'm human. Like, you know, 95% human. Yeah. Very cool. 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 I wonder if someday we'll find out what the uh, other 5% is. Whoa. Because, uh... Oh, you said it? Neat. Oh, 5%. Cool, I get it. You do pose a good question, Poogies. I don't, I mean, there might be some giraffe left in me. I mean, there's no telling, really. I mean, if I was turned into a giraffe and then was turned back into a human, well, certainly it isn't perfect. I guess I do kind of. I kind of get a craving for like, like, like leaves and stuff, but I don't eat them. I don't like. It's like an impulse, but I don't partake like that much. I mean, if I see a, I mean, it's kind of you know, you see a juicy ass leaf, you just want to munch on that shit. I mean, I did that before I was turned into a giraffe. So. You never know what you don't eat. What are you saying, Poogies? Whoa. I didn't even consider that. Maybe I should have. But I, I wasn't like full 100% giraffe. That is that is a good theory. I did have like the boy, <laughs> the body of a boy that I've always had. Like I didn't have a giraffe penis or anything. Everything kind of below the giraffe neck pretty much stayed the same.
which is a relief. I don't know anything about giraffe penises. Are they spiky like a cat. Ooh. I don't. Are we allowed to talk about? I mean, it is nature, right? We can talk about giraffe penises. I'm not gonna show one. I'm not gonna like show one on the show, but it's like National Geographic stuff. Hey, King Sizzle, you're just tuning in. We were talking about col 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 colonoscopies. Now we're talking about giraffe penises. Yeah. Do you know anything about them? Oh, did you look, Poogies? Is this scary? Are they weird? It's like a snake. Oh, jeez. Why do animals always gotta have weird penises? Oh, you're hitting the hay, King Sizzle. Well, I hope you have a good night. Thanks for popping in. Keep it sizzling. So what's next? We talked about giraffe penises. Oh, yeah. I sure will. <laughs> You're listening to Wiener Wars. Up next, we're gonna talk about uh zebra dicks. We're not really gonna talk about. Well, I would assume if a the penis of something was like a horse, a zebra would definitely be up there. Absolutely. Turning all the puppets gay. Huh. Zebra dicks also kind of sounds like a, it would be a good expletive. Like if you're mad, you can be like, Oh, zebra dicks! Sorry, King Sizzle. I didn't mean for tonight to be so, uh... You know. It just, it came up. So, sorry. Didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. We're just, we were just trying to be educational. But I understand. So how about that Super Mario Maker 2 Direct, right? That was pretty cool. Sure can't wait to get my hands on that. I want to make some levels too. I want to have fun. It's cool. Oh. Okay. You did a reaction to... maybe I'm not. What is it that you're needing? Or getting? You did a reaction to... Hmm. 
My apologies, I'm a little dense. So I get confused sometimes. Oh, Mario Maker, the subject that I brought up, I get it. <laughs> Yeah. It looks like a heck of a lot of fun. And maybe when I get it I can make super awesome It's Me I'm Alex themed levels. How cool would that be? Yeah, I do too. I gotta get an, a whole damn switch before I can play it. So that's, that's, that's a chore. But I don't know, maybe, maybe between now and, and June, July, you know, uh, maybe my ship will come in. That would be cool. I did, I did see a, a new game, can't think of the name of it, it's on Steam and Early Access, that uh, is sort of like a, a Mario Maker type game. I saw it on one of them YouTube videos where people talk about video games. Oh, I think it was Sieve. Because he makes a bunch of crazy level head, that's it. Yeah. Oh. I went ahead and added it to my Steam list. Because I think I do want to get my hands on that. And it would be a good way to, uh,. To fill the void while I wait for a switch. Oh. Well, hopefully, I mean, it has even, it even has like user made levels like Mario Maker and a rating system and stuff. And it has a bunch of features. And since it's not limited to the Mario universe, I think that actually, you know, they can just add almost whatever Mario games. It's kind of, uh, it just has to fit the Mario universe, which is cool, but with level head, they'll be able to add all sorts of stuff. So maybe I can play both. I mean, they're both kind of different. But that game is like $20 right now, so that's not in our gaming budget yet, but I'm excited. I think I'm excited about that one too. I can't wait to get to play that. Did you find it? Oh, that. I see. Where's the, uh... Hidden. There it is. Masterpiece. Uh, more like, lo I mean, yeah, a little bit. I never had the chance to play Little Big Planet a whole lot, but I did. We did have a PlayStation around here, PlayStation 2 or 3 around here and stuff, so. I, yeah, I really, I gotta get my hands on that, because I think it would fulfill my needs. If my needs aren't fulfilled, nobody's needs are fulfilled. I'm just kidding. Proceed with your, your needs.
Alright, well maybe I should play some sort of game or something. Dreams. Which one was Dreams? Oh, for the PS4. I think that tonight you don't want dreams because you played I don't know I don't know a whole lot about either of those games oh it's another little big planet I, I never we had a PlayStation 3 around here one of the members of our staff had one they are no longer with us but yeah, one of the reasons that I've always wanted a PlayStation console, one of the modern ones, is because of Little Big Planet. That's uh, but, uh, between Level Head and maybe the future Mario Maker. That'll fulfill my game building. Um, Need cat scratch. I've never heard of that. I don't know if I could do three D builder game. It sounds like a bunch of stuff to be dealing with. Yes, for for my 3D needs, Minecraft will be fine. You can kind of build games in Minecraft, I guess. I could. It is hard to translate, admittedly. But we're gonna have to do it anyway, Spur. Um, it's me, I'm Alex VR. Which we hope is up and running by 2030. At least. But it's gonna take a lot of work. So after the movie next month, we're gonna get started on It's Me, I'm Alex, the game. So, don't want to stretch ourselves too thin. I mean, that would be cool, but I wouldn't, if you want to do it for fun, but I don't, I don't know if you want to see me in three, in 3D. Oh, wow, that does look... Look at all those variables. I want this. I want all them variables. Oh, man. Yep, I gotta get that. Does it, it cost money? Yeah, sort of. It looks a little bit more simplified than Game Maker. But I haven't, I haven't uh, seen Game Maker Studio Two. I mean, I've I've seen the demo of it, but. Neat. Neat.
Oh yeah, I was gonna play a game or something. That's right. Alrighty, King Sizzle. Well, thanks for dropping in. Sorry that uh, things got weird, but we'll see you later. Take it easy. You as well. Haven't played this in a while. I'll play this. Play a few levels of Petra's Escape. Alright, I think we're ready. I mean, it's gonna be loud. It looks loud. I can't change the volume of it until we switch to it. I hope it's not loud. Oh, you can barely hear it. Oh, that sounds pleasant. Wait, what did I do? I accidentally go to the tutorial. Oh, that was where I needed to be. Okay. Oh, I have a new button. I was like, oh, that's some tutorial stuff, but... I have mirror mode now. I guess I wasn't ready for that before. Just tell me about mirror mode. Can't remember how to rotate the darn things. Oh, like that. Got it. I think I remembered the basics now.
don't know what's going on. Can you not just face the left? Like, well, sometimes he just goes too far. Smooth now. Oh, thanks, Shaolin. I appreciate it. any good. Maybe right here. Like that. Okay. Wait, no. Dang it. No, that I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I need that dude. Dang it. Didn't realize I'd have to need that guy.
This one's a toughie. Stand there. No, I need him. Dang it. I gotta get him up there. Ships, just a cube. Let's see. Oh, thanks, Shaolin. That's very kind of you. Just stand there. Wait. No. Yes. No. They always say L is number one. On it. Oh, look at there. messed up is what I did. Thank you. 
awesome. And now we need square, dude. There we go. Oh yeah, thanks for your help, buddy. Uh, well, you're very, uh, intuitive. Is that the right word? Oh, jeez. This... They all have the same stuff, too, so... It does sound like a guest appearance, doesn't it? Look at there. I achieved something. Yeah, this is awesome. Try that again. It's got to be excruciating to watch me play this game so poorly. Didn't mean to exit out.
Like I started it, I have to finish it. Oh, that that one was up higher than it was. Which one is R? I mean, my right trigger buttons. Yeah, to switch between dudes, right? That's what it does. I feel like I'm switching between dudes a lot. That's what my L and R buttons are doing. The bottom, middle. We are talking. To, we are talking about buttons I should be pressing on my controller. The shapes. Oh, because it's an L and R shape. Oh, <laughs> it's like you want me to press my L and R buttons <laughs> more. Like that. Got myself into a real pickle, Liddy. My God, I don't know. I don't know. If you ask me, I think it's unsolvable. I think the game is broken. It's broken, Liddy. Put it out with a unfinishable level. File a complaint with a better business bureau. When I was, a, I mean, I still do 
play with Lego brand building blocks. Lego brand building blocks are fun and exciting. Are you saying that my... I should be able to do this because I you know, made stuff with Lego brand building blocks? Well, I mean, I see like pieces fitting together to work in harmony. It looks like some of these dudes are like sacrificing themselves to become blocks so that others may may be, you know, saved. I don't know how I feel about that. It's almost a little too violent for my taste. Oh, do they leave together? Maybe I haven't been... Didn't... Oh, okay. I'll try one more time. Good, because I was starting to feel weird about it. Sometimes when I press a button, it minimizes the window. It's very strange. I um, it keeps minimizing the game and now it did this it's so weird I think my computer is haunted y'all Levels unbeatable. I do not have. I don't have the IQ to do it. 
I'm not smart enough. I just don't have what it takes. Like, I couldn't build a stairway if I wanted to. That's a shame. I'll have to come back to this. I feel like I'm gonna hurt my brain if I... My brain is very delicate. And like... I feel like if I continued on that path, it could rupture. So... So we'll get back to that sometime. Was that the, oh, the video that you posted on the Discord? I didn't see what it was. Watch this video. Oh, is that, is that Carl Sagan talking about pie? That sounds, looks like it. Awesome. I'll definitely have to check it out. I know that we're, we were talking about we're going to have exclusive YouTube videos and stuff. But I still think I might want to use one of the other streaming services to just like fuck around on. Like I could uh use DLive or something and we go there and that's when we can just watch videos and listen to anything we want without worrying about the, the internet twitch gestapo saying you can't do this or that yeah I went ahead and I already have my account there I even did a few test streams, but it was kind of weird because it was, it reminded me of when I started the show here and I would, you know, stream for, uh, it would, uh, I would stream for some time and sit at zero viewers there was a time when I could do this show and sit here for one hour or two hours and um not one person clicked on it so I'm very lucky that now when I do this show there's always at least one person around so that's kind of nice. Yeah, D Live. Yeah, I think they. I mean, they have like, Booty Pie or whatever. And that's supposed to be their catch. So I bet a lot of his people went there, and well, I don't know if there's a whole lot of crossover, but. Still might be a good place to just watch a bunch of videos and stuff. It would just be a shame because anybody here who wants to see it would have to register an account and all that. And I don't want to hassle people. But maybe if I did it on the off time. Not during like the regular show, but some other type of show. Maybe I'll do a regular show here sometime. And then it could be Alex after dark. After dark. And uh, that'll be the nights when we're streaming super late. Maybe not six in the morning late, but you know, when it's super late at night and we're just chilling. We want to watch some copyrighted videos and listen to some booty music or whatever.
I mean, I could, you know, just listen to all sorts of stuff and watch. I mean, I wouldn't watch vulgar. Like, no, I take that back. Not like illegally vulgar things or whatever. I wouldn't watch porn or anything. But. We could do something. I could even set up the whole song request thing. I don't have that set up for Twitch because it might not be. It's kind of scary. Oh yeah. Where is it? Here we go. Oh, that Tetris. <laughs> Tetris music is still going. It sounds great with Dwayne's music. There we go. Very cool. Alright, well. No, it's not even midnight yet. But. Ah, uh, yeah. There it is. Alright, well. We're gonna have to go for the night. Hey! Well, thank you all for watching. And I hope y'all, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, well, thanks. Thank you for, for being thankful. But, um, it does. But, yeah. Sorry, I'm uh, a little distracted. Thanks. It is a little bit annoying to say the least, but, uh, oh my god. But it's almost over. Yes. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. And uh, have a good day tomorrow. And uh, and uh, okay. Don't forget to goodbye.